All right, guys. So I have my um, my 17-inch Alienware R4. So I've had this for just about uh, a year and two months, and the Intel M2 SSD that came with it has already died, which is pretty disappointing. But um, I've ordered the Samsung 970 EVO, the NVMe M2, to replace it. So this is just a quick video to show you how to replace it if you ever need to. And I would actually recommend that you you take out the Intel one if you have it and uh, go with Samsung. It's usually much more reliable, I find. So I've already gone ahead and removed these screws here. You can see them here. And that's them over here. So once you remove all of the screws, just pay attention to this one. This one actually doesn't come out. It'll just spin in place. It has like a little washer keeping it locked in there. So once you remove all the screws, you're just going to put your fingernails under the sides here and you're just going to pull pull up from the sides and then there you go. All right, so when you buy the computer, this is where the solid state goes. So you have, uh, this is a slot for one of the solid states, um, the 80 millimeter. There's a second slot and then this is the half slot. And if you look over here, this is where the, you have the 2.5 hard drive goes. So right now I have a one terabyte here, but the area we're focusing on is um, we're going to be replacing the Intel SSD here. And here's your two RAM sticks as well if you ever need to replace that. Pretty, pretty easy to access. So replacing this is pretty easy. Once you take the back cover off, just make sure you disconnect this battery cable here. Um, just so that no power is going to anything and it's recommended to you know disconnect it leave it for a couple minutes so all the power from the capacitor is drained off but I haven't been using this computer for a while so everything's fine so I'm gonna start here so I'm just gonna remove this one retention screw okay that's out then I'm just gonna slide this out And here you can see it has these two gaps here. So when I looked it up online, it said it takes the M key, but this looks like a B and M. Um, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and when you compare that to the Samsung that I just got, you can see it just has the, the one little uh, groove or slot there. So that's the difference there. So this is this should be the M and then this is the, the B and M. So. Let's go ahead, put this in. So to put this in, he's going to put it up here, slide it in, and then I'm going to put that retention screw back in. This is a really small screw, so just be careful with this part. Okay, so that's it. So the new SSD is in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close everything back up, boot it up, make sure it shows in the bias, and then I'll catch you guys later on in the video.